Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales. Today is uh, 12th August and uh, I'm sorry we could not have Morning Tales on Saturday the 10th because uh, I was not in a good condition but he here I am and today we are going to discuss some good static questions and some good current affairs questions for today. Uh, one more uh, important announcement for today. So we are not going to have a lot of finance questions for today because Saturday Sundays are normally weak when it comes to finance and therefore don't have a lot of information related to finance whether it's the RBA website, whether it's the SEBI website, whether it's Live Mint or whether it's Economic Times. Did not get a lot of information. So uh, instead we are going to have a lot of uh, good current affairs questions and along with that some good static questions as well. To start with, the first question is with which institute has the National Institute of Ocean Technology partnered to generate electricity through ocean waves? Now you must be thinking why is this a news because uh, the technology for generating electricity from ocean waves already exists. Well, these two institutes have come together in order to better this technology so that uh, we can commercialize the technology better and at the same time we can make it more sustainable and at the same time more uh, pocket friendly in the future okay so the department of uh, ocean is also working along with these two institutes uh, one is national institute of ocean technology and the other one out here is iit madras so the answer is c iit madras for this that was the only info important information that I wanted to discuss with you. Very important for phase 1 for various competitive banking examinations. Second question, which state has stopped in the report card on breastfeeding and infant and child feeding practices released by Ministry of Health? Now, Ministry of Health, uh, the question that I have for you is who is the minister, central minister of Ministry of Health of India? That is a question for you. You have to reply in the comment section below. Okay. Who is the Minister of Health presently? Secondly, which state has stopped in the report card? Manipur has stopped in the report card. Some important information about uh, breastfeeding. There are three time periods which can, which can be asked in the examination related to breastfeeding. There is the early initiation which starts from uh, the birth and lasts for uh, another one hour okay uh, the first hour is considered very very important and the child needs to be breastfed second is exclusive breastfeeding which lasts for six months the first six months and then we have complementary breast breastfeeding which is from six to eight months okay so we have uh, early initiation number one you have early initiation do remember them very important uh, I believe they can be asked under social welfare. Then you have exclusive and then you have complementary. Okay. So these are the three types and uh, they are all connected with time period. One hour, then you have six months and then you have six months to eight months. Okay. Do remember them. Manipur has stopped uh, and uh, states of North India like UP, Bihar, Rajasthan have actually become the one of the last uh, scorers in this report card on breastfeeding okay so the answer to this question is manipur next question is how many countries have recently signed un convention on international settlement agreements india has one uh, also signed this agreement recently and with this a total of 46 countries have signed international un convention on international settlement agreements also called as Singapore Convention. So this is something that you need to remember. Singapore Convention is UN Convention on International uh, Settlement Agreements. The purpose is to provide more, more ease of doing business and more confidence to foreign investors because if they know that uh, a country like India is following the UN Convention on International Settlements and therefore before going to the court for any uh, issue financial issue or any other kind of issue they are going to go to a third party and try and settle that issue before going to the court then they would be more interested in investing their uh, heavy money into that particular country because then they are not caught up in all the judicial proceedings and judicial 
you know uh, hassles that normally come with the judiciary of any country okay so un convention a total of 46 nations have signed that Next question is where will the meeting of conference of parties of sites convention of international trade in engendered species on wild fauna and flora be held. It's going to be held in Geneva in Switzerland uh, in August itself and that's why it becomes important. Now sites convention is also called as Washington convention. So number one task is do remember the full form of sites. Number two also called as Washington convention. What is, what is the purpose of sites as it goes from the name only to ensure that endangered species on fauna and flora are not traded illegally worldwide. Okay, uh, So the answer to this question is A. Switzerland uh, and Geneva in Switzerland. Which country has the highest number of living languages according to Ethnologue? The answer is C. Papua New Guinea. Now you must be wondering where exactly is this country like me clarify it for you and create a small uh, you know diagram for you so everybody knows where India is South Asia now from here we move towards we, uh, Myanmar so this is Myanmar then uh, as you go down this is Thailand Malaysia and then you have this Indonesia and Singapore okay so this is Singapore all running Singapore and this here is Malaysia Singapore Singapore is here a small country and this all is Indonesia okay Indonesia now here it ends a lot of islands in Indonesia and then starts this here is Australia so Australia is something like this Australia starts and immediately over Australia above Australia we have this country called Papua New Guinea so here it is a Pacific country above Australia I hope now it's more clear and uh, more easy for you to remember where all these interesting and uh, new countries new sounding countries exactly are so the answer is c papua new guinea who among the following has been awarded with bharat ratna award 2019 so total of three people have been awarded two posthumously and one is prana mukherjee so prana mukherjee who is still alive uh, who was the president uh, uh, until 2017 has been awarded the bharat ratna other than him Two other people, Bhupen Hazarika, who has been uh, uh, you know, a singer and composer from Assam, and Nanaji Deshmukh. Uh, these two people have been awarded, these three people in fact have been awarded the Bharat Ratna, highest civilian award in India. So the answer to this question is Prana Mukherjee. Writer of a resurgent India book. Well, this book reminds me of another book that I am reading presently. Uh, I am sure a lot of you must have read it already. I picked it up late. I do what I do by Raghuram Rajan. So I just caught hold of it and started reading it and it's an amazing book. After this certainly I'm going to read the book Resurgent India also. And soon I'm going to come out with a summary of uh, the book I do what I do. I found it very interesting, a very nice, very well written book, very articulate. It gives you an idea how uh, good all these uh, people working at the helm and uh, you, you know going to the international countries other countries and other universities and teaching and working there what kind of experience what kind of writing style what kind of eloquence do they have okay writer of resurgent india book bimal chaland next question panna national park where is it panna national park is in madhya pradesh why is it important because it is one of the most notorious national parks when it comes to protection of wildlife. Now it was created in 1993 and it had uh, tigers in it therefore it was a tiger reserve and uh, although it was very good in the starting but by 2009 the entire tiger population from the reserve was eliminated because of poaching and collusion with the forest department officials. So that's why uh, Madhya Pradesh Panna National Park very important. Where is Kyoladio Ghana National Park located? Kyoladio Ghana National Park. Well, this question I leave to you. I want you to answer this so that you get into the groove of remembering national parks itself, uh, national parks as well. So this one is for you. Question nine. You have to answer it in the comment section below. Last one also a national park, Nagarhol National Park. It is a part of Nilgiri's. Uh, wildlife reserve and uh, it is located on the southern end of Karnataka 
so the answer is C Karnataka it is also a tiger reserve has a lot of tigers as well which still exist because of it being lying in the Nilgiris biosphere uh, reserve okay it is also called as Rajiv Gandhi National Park so that is something that you need to remember uh, the examiner might confuse you by renaming it as Rajiv Gandhi National Park okay so this was all for today's uh, current affairs so the answer to this question is C Karnataka you have to answer question number nine where is Kyoladiyo Ghana National Park I am very sure you will be able to find it out very easily and read some important aspects related to this national park as well do post your answers in the comment section below if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel and always come at 8 o'clock in the morning I will be here to greet you with some good questions and some interesting facts and news as well. All the very best. Take care.